Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Sage, you are you, and today we're going to be talking about focusing on your desired reality. Now, there are some things that you can do when you're shifting, some things that you can do when you're not shifting. Um, and so let's kind of get into that today. I would like to thank um, my shifties for being a part of my community. And if you're not a shifty, just I have my Discord link down below. And you can also subscribe, like, follow, whatever you want to do. It is so amazing to have you um, come onto here and enjoy my content. So thank you so much. Focusing can be hard, especially with people with ADD or uh, ADHD, whatever. So that can be really hard to deal with. So... And I would say focusing is one of the, at least for me personally, one of the most important parts of shifting um, in the shifting process. So let's kind of work on a couple, at least a few things that might help. Now, the first thing I would start off with is don't focus on your body. When you are shifting, focusing on what your current reality body is doing will just, it'll keep you more grounded inside of this current reality because you're not really thinking of um, what your desired reality is like, all those kind of things. You're really focusing on what's happening right here in this reality. For example, especially me, when I was um, starting out, I focused a lot on symptoms, and I was like, it was almost like a hyperfixation. Am I getting symptoms? Am I not getting symptoms? Um, why am I not getting enough symptoms? Why am I feeling so much? Why am I not feeling this symptom? Things like that. This, that, and the third. Like, it was honestly so much and so overwhelming. And then there got to be a point where I just stopped feeling symptoms. And I lost a lot of motivation to shift because I wasn't feeling those symptoms. It almost took me a while to realize that symptoms are not a required or even necessary part of shifting. They often people f have them in the beginning, have them for a while, and then, you know, as your body gets used to the shifting process, it'll kind of tamper off a little bit. But something I would say is do not focus on getting symptoms. It, they don't matter. Not everyone gets symptoms, so, but everyone can shift. But it is hard to not focus completely on them. What instead I want you to focus on is where you are going to be waking up. But go into detail. Don't just, don't just think, oh, what's it going to look like? I mean, obviously that's what everyone's focusing on. But instead, also be thinking of what is the room looking like? What kind of, what does the bed feel like? Uh, is there another person in the room? What are they doing? Uh, what is the temperature? Uh, do you have a blanket on? Is it raining outside? What is the weather? Things like that. Um, just like really go into detail about what exactly the room looks like. And to talk about things that you would do before um, you plan on shifting, I would suggest uh, think about why you are shifting because um, especially for me, I losing, I lost a lot of motiv motivation um, during different times and kind of just remembering what made me start uh, shifting and why I've always been going back to shifting. Um, like, what is that reason? Is it exploration? Is it romance? Why, what is the reason behind? What is the reason? <laughs> that you're shifting. Now, this was kind of like a debate in early shift talk, but um, in the shifting community, I often people worry about, like, how do I say this? Um, people will worry about, like, is your room clean? Is it dirty? Do you need to clean your desk? Do you need to practice for a sport? Um, you take care of, you should take care of these things before you try to shift because, like, it'll be unnecessarily worrying if you get me people in the community um often i would say back then were like you should try and make sure that your room is clean make sure that you get all of your things taken care of before you try and shift because that's going to be worrying you it's going to be stressing you whatever um i think there's a lot of debate in the community about that what i would suggest is try to relate that back to the reality in which like let's say you have a lot of studying and it's weighing on your mind a little bit if you're, for example, if you're shifting to a college or a dorm room, like, um, in Danganronpa, for example, um, if you're shifting to there, try to relate something, or Hogwarts, try to relate some of that school struggle to what you might feel in your desired reality, just to try to create an internal connection between the two, if you understand. And another thing that really has helped me, and I actually did shift, um, one of the first times, 
with guided meditation. I really suggest Alanir. She will be linked below. Um, but I, she's been such a blessing in my shifting journey to kind of, uh, settle my brain down because it's all over the place. Settle it down and really focus on one task and one task only. Now, there are a lot of gaps, a lot of breathing exercises that she does have you do, and if that doesn't work for you, we totally understand, whatever. But she, for me, has been an amazing resource, and I would definitely recommend you check her out. Anyway, I think that is it for the video. I hope that's helped. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, comment it down below. Subscribe, whatever you need to do, and I will see you in the next one. Live your best life.